hey welcome back to my channel today we're gonna do an herbal infusion and the two herbs that i'm using today are chamomile and calendula i love calendula because it helps heal wounds uh, it nurtures dry skin it reduces scarring um, and then chamomile is very good for reducing inflammation it promotes sleep it relieves its stress and it's very rich in antioxidants so we're gonna go ahead and get started for this tutorial today, you're going to need a mason jar, chamomile herb, calendula herb, grapeseed oil, and cheesecloth. And for the mason jar, you can use a, a standard size if you have it. So we're going to use a cup and a half of chamomile dry herb. And of course, I'll link everything in the description that I'm using today. So, I don't know if you guys can see, but I started off with a little bit of oil at the bottom of the mason jar just to um, get me started. So, I'm just going to go ahead and put the chamomile flour into the mason jar. And this can get a little messy. Um, of course, some herbs will drop off, but that's okay. <laughs> so, then we're going to go in with our calendula oil. I mean, calendula herbs, sorry and we're gonna measure out a cup a cup of this um like i said before i really do love this herb because it really helps with psoriasis it helps with people who have eczema and so we're just gonna measure out a cup of this and this recipe makes about a cup and a half of infused oil and so once we're done pouring that we're just gonna put it right into the mason jar um, this process is really easy it's nothing you know too complicated which is why i love making infused oils i think anybody anybody and everybody is capable to make a recipe like this um so we just put our herbs into the mason jar and so next we're just going to clean up the area of any you know leftover herbs that we may have dropped and this is normal this is a part of the process uh, so don't be hard on yourself I do this all the time I drop herbs all over the place but just simply scrape them up and put them back into the jar uh, make sure that you're using um, a clean environment so that you're able to do this because you don't want to use a dirty workstation um, and, and using herbs that have touched that dirty workstation so I have uh, 16 ounces which is equivalent to like two cups of grapeseed oil and we're just gonna drop it in as so um, I, I like I said before I really do love this oil because it doesn't give off a, a very strong scent and when you are done with the actual infusion process the only thing that you can really smell is the herb itself and these herbs smell amazing i love i love using um, these when i do an herbal infusion and so i actually went back in with like a, a half a cup of olive oil um just because i want to gift this oil away to a, a friend a family friend and i know that they really enjoy olive oil so here we have our finished product before we actually go ahead and heat up our oil and it's so pretty look at that i love it ah i love it <laughs> i love this part um so yeah this is what it should look like um then we're gonna go in and fill up our pot with i think i use about just like four cups of water and then i put in my herbs and looks a little looks a little shallow so i'm gonna go ahead and just add some more water just to make sure that it reaches uh, the top of where or the threshold of where the herbs are um, and you can use any pot for this whatever type of stock pot so once we have our fire going you're going to turn it to the highest setting and we're going to let this uh, sit for about an hour and a half just to make sure that we really get all of the benefits of the herb itself. So after an hour and a half, we have finished our infusion 
so you did it <laughs> we're done so I don't know if you guys can tell that well but the even the the color of the calendula in chamomile has a bit of a darker complexion now because we have completely um, drained all of the, the nutrients and in the nutrients we drain the color so now we have this beautiful infused oil so I'm taking my cheesecloth and just placing it over the white mouth of the mason jar just to help um, the separation process basically we're just going to strain the oil from the herb and this is this is the best way that I've, I've been able to extract any type of oil when I'm doing an herbal infusion and so we're just going to pour it directly into our mason jar and you want to use a jar that has a spout so that it's easily um, transferable if you want to use a, another small jar or another mason jar you won't have any spills so I'm just going to let this sit there um, until we finally I got all of the oil out and I'm going to use this small jar that I got from um, a craft store I love it it's so cute because it's glass and it's transparent but okay sorry uh, so we got a cup and a half of oil so I'm just gonna place this in there and I want you guys to make sure that you store this in a, a cool dark place um, just because we don't want any uh, direct sunlight we just want to make sure that we're protecting the oil usually I'll use an amber glass jar to preserve the oil better but I wanted to show you guys the color um, so I just used a, a clear jar so this is actually an infusion that I did a while back instead of using the double broiler method which is a method that we use today I just put my herbs in a small jar I covered it with uh, essential uh, not essential oil olive oil and I let it sit for uh, a, a month and a half close to two months and I wanted to try out this process just to see how the oil would turn out. And I mean, it all works just the same. Um, in, in, this, in this case, time is on our side. So the longer that you have the herb sit in the oil, the more benefits that you get from the actual herb. So look how, look how beautiful. Y'all, I love this. I love this oil. I love infusing um, different herbs together because they really can heal your skin and your body if you allow them to. <laughs> and just like that guys, we have our very first herbal infusion. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you decide to try this recipe, please tag me on Instagram. Uh, leave a comment below. I would love to hear from you. And if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe. I love you guys. Thank you so much. Bye.